Good day. Today, we will discuss all about the process of photosynthesis. We know that this process or this topic is very complex. So, we will make it easy for you. So, let's start. Okay, so photosynthesis is the process in which light energy is converted to chemical energy in the form of sugars. We have here the uh, photosynthesis equation. Um, in this process, the food or the sugar, specifically glucose, is synthesized directly from carbon dioxide and water using sunlight or the light energy from the sun to create sugar or glucose and the byproduct oxygen Oxygen is a um, waste product for the plants. So, they release this gas to the environment. Photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplast, which contain the chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the green pigment. That's why the plants or most of the plants appear green. So let's take a look at this picture. Um, this image is the internal parts of a leaf. Then we will just get, uh, we will take a closer look in a plant cell. Then here is the chloroplast that contains the chlorophyll. Okay. Then, um, let us enumerate or identify the different parts of the chloroplast. The first, we have the outer membrane and the inner membrane. So, these are the uh, coverings of the chloroplast. Next one is the stroma. Stroma is the liquid portion of the chloroplast. Next is the thylakoid. Thylakoid is the flattened sac. Okay. So here are the thylakoids. Next is the granum. Granum is the stock of thylakoids. There are two stages. In photosynthesis we have here the light dependent reaction and the Calvin cycle um, today we will discuss the light dependent reaction then we will create another uh, video for the or for the Calvin cycle okay so let's focus on the light dependent reaction which is the first stage of photosynthesis Um, light dependent reaction occurs in the thylakoid membrane okay so here it is so again thylakoid is the flattened sac in the chloroplast and if you can see outside the thylakoid we can identify the uh, stroma which is the liquid portion of the chloroplast we're in the second stage or the Calvin cycle occurs. Then the light dependent reaction occurs in the thylakoid or in the thylakoid membrane. Light dependent reaction uses light energy. So from the word itself, light dependent. So um, this process um, depends on light.
to make two molecules. So here are the products of uh, the light dependent reaction that are needed in the next stage which is the Calvin cycle. First one is ATP or adenosine triphosphate. ATP is the energy carrier or energy storage molecule. Okay, so when you hear the word ATP, it carries energy. Next product of light dependent reaction is NADPH or nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate. Okay, so what's the difference between ATP and NADPH? Um, NADPH is an electron carrier. While ATP is an energy carrier or energy storage molecule. Then, uh, we have here the term reduced. In science, when we say reduced or reduction, it is the gain of hydrogen. That's why we have here letter H. So, that's the uh, hydrogen. That's the reduced form of NADP. NADPH. Okay? Because when it gets the electron, um, it absorbs also hydrogen ions. Now, let's have a closer look in the thylakoid membrane. So, we will just focus on this part. where the light-dependent reaction occurs. We have here the uh, photosystems. Photosystems are light-absorbing pigments. And um, each photosystem contains the pigments, including the Chlorophyll. So, their main function is to absorb the light. Okay? And we have here also the carrier molecules or the uh, electron transport chain. This is where the electron passes through from one photosystem to another photosystem. First step is photosystem 2 receives light energy causes an electron in the chlorophyll to become excited. The term excited means the electron gains energy and uh, these electrons are transferred to carrier molecules or an electron transport chain within the thylakoid membrane. And this process is called photoactivation, wherein the light energy is absorbed by chlorophyll, which is located uh, inside the photosystem, and it is used to excite electrons. Next. Um, the photosystem 2 loses electrons. So, um, it will get the electrons from water. Okay, so, um, the photosystem 2 needs to replace the loss of electrons. So, they split the water molecule using the light energy from the sun. And this process is called photolysis. Now, the products are electrons, oxygen, and hydrogen ions. Now, the electrons will go to the photosystem 
However, the oxygen molecule will be released to the environment because it has no use in plants. Oxygen is a byproduct of photosynthesis. It is like the waste product for plants. That's why they release it to the environment. And the hydrogen ions, we have here two hydrogen ions. They will just float inside the thylakoid or the thylakoid itself. Okay. So photolysis is the process by which water is split into oxygen which is released into the atmosphere and hydrogen. Step 2. As the electrons are passed through the chain, they lose energy, which is used to translocate hydrogen ions into the thylakoid. The protein pumps hydrogen ions from stroma into the thylakoid space. So, if we can see here, again, <coughs> the electrons become excited because the photosystem 2 absorbs light energy. And when the electrons become excited, they will transfer from photosystem 2 to photosystem 1. However, as they pass through the chain, um, they lose energy because um, the energy is being used to transfer hydrogen ions from the stroma which is the liquid portion of the chloroplast inside the uh, thylakoid space. Now, uh, as a result, there will be low concentration of hydrogen ions in the stroma and there will be high concentration of hydrogen ions inside the thylakoid space. So, to achieve the equilibrium, the hydrogen ions inside the thylakoid space are allowed to pass through the ATP synthase. So, this is the um, ATP synthase. Okay. This is where the hydrogen ions will pass through. Okay. Um, the flowing of hydrogen ions through the ATP synthase is called chemiosmosis. Because, um, while the hydrogen ions flow through the ATP synthase, it releases energy. And that energy is being used by ATP synthase to add phosphate to the ADP or adenosine diphosphate. Okay. So, energy is used to combine the phosphate plus the ADP forming the adenosine triphosphate this is why ATP is called um, energy carrier molecule because um, the ATP has the energy plus the phosphate And this process is called photophosphorylation. It means it is the conversion of ADP to ATP using the energy of sunlight. Now, um, we have mentioned earlier that the electrons from photosystem 2, once excited, they will travel through the electron transport chain to the photosystem 1. As they reach the photosystem 1, um, they have to be energized. Okay? 
So, the photosystem one uh, will absorb light energy to excite the electrons. So, the high energy electron travels down a short second leg of the electron transport chain. Then, at the end of the chain, the electron is passed to NADP along with the hydrogen to make NADPH. So, the NADP or nicotinamide adenine diphosphate um, will absorb the electrons along with the hydrogen to make NADPH. That's why um, NADPH or nicotinamide adenine diphosphate is an electron carrier because in this process um, the NADP absorbs the electrons along with the hydrogen ion to make NADPH then the missing electron in the photosystem one because the electron is or the electrons are being absorbed by NADP so it needs replacement so the missing electron is replaced by a new electron from photosystem 2 arriving via electron transport chain and then the photosystem 2 um, will get its electron from water they will they will split water using the sunlight or the light energy then uh, they will release again um, oxygen to the environment and two hydrogen ions again the two hydrogen ions will just float here inside the thylakoid space and the oxygen molecule will uh, be released through the stomata. Okay, so let's sum it up. So photosynthesis, it is the process wherein the light energy is being converted into sugar or food or specifically glucose because glucose is the source of energy for the plants for them to grow and photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplast that contains the green pigment called chlorophyll photosynthesis has two stages but we just discussed the first stage where which is the light dependent reaction and the light dependent reaction takes place in the chloroplast specifically in the thylakoid okay thylakoid is a part of chloroplast the light dependent reaction uses so these are the reactants of light dependent reaction sunlight and water and the products are adenosine triphosphate, the energy carrier molecule, and the NADPH, the electron carrier molecule. These products are needed in the second stage, which is the Calvin cycle. We will discuss that in our another um, video. And the byproduct is the oxygen. If you got questions, uh, feel free to comment your questions in the section, in the comment section. Then I'll try to answer your queries. Thank you for watching.